Hey, what's up everyone? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going out to Reefapalooza 2017 at the Meadowlands Expo Center, and we're gonna be visiting with Chad Clayton from Reef Nutrition, and he's gonna be discussing three products um, of interest for you. So let's go out to the show floor and check out what Chad has to say. Everybody, my name is Chad Clayton. I'm the Life Feed Supervisor with Reed Mariculture. We are a marine phytoplankton company uh, growing microalgae in California in the Silicon Valley area. Uh, we have been in business since 1997 selling our microalgae concentrates to oyster hatcheries, clam hatcheries, shellfish hatcheries like shrimp hatcheries, as well as uh, finfish uh, growers and, and researchers, public aquariums. Uh, about 12 years ago, we came out with a line called Reef Nutrition. For the hobby, we were approached by many people. They requested phytoplankton and other small particle feeds for corals, and so we delivered that to the, to the hobby. And so one of our flagship products was Phytofeast. So this is a blend of six different species of phytoplankton, um, all grown at our farm. And so this is one of the most concentrated products on the market. You're looking at about 42 grams wet weight of microalgae. These are the same species that are being used in global aquaculture that are being used to enrich rotifers, artemia, also being fed to larval oysters and other bivalves and shellfish. So this is a really good feed for non-photosynthetic corals, filter feeding organisms like uh, sabellid worms. Uh, it's very good for clams and oysters as well and uh, other bivalves that you would have in the aquarium. And it also is good for zooplankton. We actually use a lot of these same species that are in this product to grow copepods at our farm. Now another product we have is, is Oyster Feast. So this is oyster eggs and ovarian tissue. It's roughly in the one to 200 micron range uh, with the majority of the particle size in the lower range. Um, this is a great product for SPS corals, LPS corals, all the way up to some of the larger invertebrates like anemones and some of the big bivalves. This product really elicits a very strong feeding response. It's, it's rich in amino acids and lipids, and this is a very natural food source. So these animals respond to it. You get good polyp extension, good feeding tentacles coming out, and this also adds a lot of color to these animals. And so if you want to really put on a lot of mass, a lot of color, a lot of growth on your corals, then Oyster Feast is where it's at. And one more product I'd like to describe is our tigger pods. These are live Tigreopus californicus that are aquacultured at our farm. So we are basically selling these into the, into the retail hobby. Uh, you will see them in stores and refrigerators. And what we do is, is we've been working with these for about 10 years. We, we were approached by many people that were saying there were mandarin dragonettes coming in into the hobby, pipefish and seahorses that were only eating nothing but live feeds. And so this, is, this was our answer to the people that needed those things. So, so we came out with a couple pods of Tigriopus. They're a very hardy animal. They can be put in a refugium. They can be fed directly to the fish. Uh, a lot of people just simply supplement uh, their existing population that might be in the tank with another bottle. So people buy them once, once a week or once a month. Great food for finicky fish. So basically all of our products are a variety of nutritional qualities, a variety of particle size, and a variety of types of animals. And so all of our products need to be refrigerated. You'll see them in refrigerators and pet stores across the nation. Uh, and if you don't have a store near you, you can always buy from us online and direct. So again, I'm at Reef of Palooza 2017 in, in New Jersey here. Uh, and you're talking with Chad Clayton, Reef Nutrition. And uh, it was nice, nice chatting with you guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.